Hello, Arizona. It is time for the daily update from the Republican Party of Arizona. I am your chairwoman, Dr. Kelly Ward. Like many of you, I watched the Arizona State Senate hearing today on the current status of the full forensic audit of the Maricopa County 2020 general election, or as we like to call it, America's audit. I want to thank Senate President Karen Fan and Senate Judiciary Chairman Warren Peterson for conducting really such a professional, professional hearing. The audit team shared a lot of new information, including <laughs> that thousands of duplicated ballots, um, these are the ballots that are duplicated because of damage to the original ballot or some other problem, did not have a serial number as required by state statutes, as statute, as required by law. Without those serial numbers, it is impossible to match the original ballot to the duplicate. That's a real problem. Bob Cotton, a court-recognized forensic data expert, stated that the Maricopa election system had not and has not been updated with security updates since August of 2019. August of 2019 is when the Dominion software was originally loaded on those machines. So just so you know, your personal computer is probably more secure than the county voting systems because there have been many, many, many security updates to Windows systems since that time due to security vulnerabilities. Also, the administrator passwords to the election management system, EMS, were all the same and were not changed since August of 2019. In other words, everyone accessing those machines used the same weak password. Those are major violations of industry standard cybersecurity protocols. We also learned that according to the written records, there were about 74,000 mail-in ballots that were received by the county, but there is no record that they were ever sent out. A clerical error? Who knows? The county won't answer. <laughs> there were also nearly 4,000 people who were shown as having voted on election day, but their registration date is after October 15, 2020, which was the deadline for registering to vote. 18,000 people voted in the election, but very, very shortly after the election, they were purged from the county's voter rolls. Why? We don't know. The county won't answer. There are still many, many materials that have um, not been provided to the audit team to conduct a complete and full forensic audit. They were subpoenaed. They haven't been provided. It includes the routers, the Splunk logs, which show who accessed county systems when and how, and images of the mail-in ballot envelopes to check the signatures. The senators indicated they are preparing additional subpoenas for those materials if needed, and also any information of the publicly acknowledged cyber breach of the Maricopa County system that happened last fall. Whew. This matter is far from over, and let me assure you that here at the Republican Party of Arizona, we will continue to support the audit, and we will not take our eye off the ball. I live tweeted the hearing, and you can find that summary at Kelly Ward AZ on Twitter and Getter. Kelly with an I, I care about the people. And remember this, here at the Republican Party of Arizona, it is always election integrity and always America first. I'll see you next time.